wherever this angle ends up, it's either going to end up in the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, or fourth quadrant. Okay, wherever it ends up, you want to drop a perpendicular to the x-axis, okay? And the angle that's formed between the terminal ray, where it terminates or stops, the spinner, right? And the x-axis, that's your reference angle right there, okay? So this one, you would drop a perpendicular, that's your reference angle. Drop a perpendicular, see, to the x-axis, that's your reference angle. Drop a perpendicular to the x-axis, that's your reference angle right there. The reference angle is always going to be an angle between 0 and 90, okay, or 0 and pi over 2. It's always going to be positive, okay, and that's the idea. So, for example, with 300 degrees, what we're going to do is, let's go ahead and uh, think of this as a spinner. So, we're starting here. We're going to spin that counterclockwise because it's a positive angle, right, positive. So, that's going to go 90 180, 270, 300, there's where it stops or terminates. We drop a perpendicular to the x-axis. We look at that angle that's formed between the terminal ray and the x-axis, and that's going to be 60 degrees. You never want to go to the y. That's going to give you the wrong answer. The nice thing about reference angles is that this triangle, okay, is the same as this triangle. Okay, and this, is, this has applicability when you look at the unit circle and you start studying the unit circle, but this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle, if they all have a 60 degree reference angle, all these triangles are congruent, okay, which means that, you know, the sides of the triangle are going to be congruent, okay, all these are going to be exactly congruent. So, I'll show you another example. Let's do one with uh, radians this time. So, say for example, you want to find what is the reference angle for um, 2 pi over 3, okay, 2 pi over 3. So we start here, okay, and positive x-axis. It's a positive angle, so we're going this direction, 2 pi over 3. So this is pi, so 2 pi over 3 is like 1, 2, 3 pi over 3. So that's 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3. Okay, so we end up there. There's our angle. We drop a perpendicular to the x-axis, and we look at that angle that's formed between the x-axis and where the ray stopped, okay, the terminal ray. That's going to be pi over 3. That's our reference angle, pi over 3. Now, some books and some teachers, they advocate using a formula. They say, okay, if you are in the first quadrant, your reference angle is going to be whatever your angle is, theta. If you're in the second quadrant, what you're doing is you're going 180 minus the angle, okay, that'll give you a reference angle, okay. If you're in the third quadrant, you go, okay, um, let's say your angle's right here, this would be theta minus 180, that'll give you a reference angle. And if you're over here, you're going to go 2 pi or 360 minus your angle. So you can memorize these formulas. I try to reduce the number of formulas I have to memorize. Just by drawing the picture, you can quickly find out Okay, it's the angle that's formed between where the ray stops and the x-axis. But if this helps you, go ahead and use these formulas. Theta, 180 minus theta in the second quadrant. Theta minus 180. 360 minus theta in the fourth quadrant. So over here, we could say, all right, we're in the second quadrant. So 180 is actually pi minus our initial angle, 2 pi over 3. That's going to give you pi over 3. I'll show you one more example. Let's do a negative angle this time. Say, for example, we want to find the reference angle for negative 210. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw our coordinate axis. We're going to start here at the positive x-axis. It's a negative angle this time, which means we're going to go this direction. 90, 180, 30 more. Gets you 210. Okay, 90, 180, 30 more. Drop a perpendicular, and I can see this angle is going to be a 30-degree angle. It's just 30 degrees past the x-axis past 180 mark. So it's 30 degrees, not negative 30, but positive. The reference angle is always a positive angle between 0 and 90 or 0 and pi over 2 if you're in radians. So this has been an overview of how to find reference angles. You'll find this helpful when you work with the unit circle. I'll see you in the next video.